Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode I'm covering kind of a quick series on how to use the toolbar. This episode I am covering the ripple, roll, and rate stretch tool that you will find in this little pull down right here. If you click your mouse on this, it expands it and you can see three different tools under here. The ripple tool, the roll tool, and the rate stretch tool. And they each have their own, and they each have their own shortcut. Ripple is B as in boy, N as in Nancy, and R as in um, r r rate stretch tool. Yes. So first let's go over Ripple. So right now I'm going to select my selection tool by hitting V. So if I'm on my regular selection tool here and I want to cho choose my Ripple tool, I'm going to hit B. And then you'll notice that your tool changes this little thing with an X through it. A Ripple tool is commonly used for matching. I'm going to show you the basics of what it does in one move. Right now I'm going to hit V as in Victor for my selection tool and show you what it does in, the, in long form. So right here in my timeline, I've got my basic rough cut, but at, let's watch the edit as it goes from the close-up to the wider shot. I'm going to press play. He sits back, and then he sits back again. So that is a mismatch. And usually when you're just doing an assembly cut and dropping a bunch of clips down into your timeline, you're not too worried about uh, matching. You're just getting approxim you're just approximating. And then you're going to go through and start fine-tuning this. One way of matching that is I'm going to grab my playhead, and I'm going to move along here, and I'm going to get right where his back kind of hits the back of the couch. I'm going to zoom up, hit plus on my on the top of my keyboard a couple times to zoom up so I can really see this. I'm going to move my selection tool here, and I'm going to trim this to the left. And then I'll do the same thing over on this clip here and get his back right where it touches, right about there. And I'm going to grab this tool and drag it to the right. So I've got this beginning frame and this ending frame kind of on that matched up. But now I can select this gap here and hit, my de hit the big delete key at the top of your keyboard, and it fills the gap. Let's watch through that. And that looks like it matched pretty good. But that took a lot of steps to get there. So I'm going to undo, get back to where I was. The Ripple tool does that in all one move. What it does, it'll shorten or lengthen an in or out point without affecting the adjacent clips in or out point. It's basically what I just did there, shortened up. So I'm going to hit the letter B for the Ripple tool. I'm going to move down. I'm going to move down here, and I'm going to and I'm put my mouse right here. Notice it's pointing to the left. Notice this when I go to my selection tool and I move my mouse down here, you've got this red tool and that's just your trim tool there and it leaves that gap right there. What the ripple tool does is actually once you shorten that or lengthen your out point, it'll fill the gap or it will push all the other footage down to compensate. So let's choose the ripple tool, B as in boy, move my mouse over, point it to the left so it is changing the clip to the, clip to the left, it is changing its out point. I'm going to click and drag it to the left and look what it does, it brings up two windows. The left window up there is the out point of the clip to the left. The right image there is the in point of the clip to the right. And notice as I scrub this back and forth, it's not changing that in point to the right at all. It only changes one in point or one out point. And then when I let go, let's see if we can get this kind of right there. His head's in the exact same angle. And you can use that as a good matching tool. I let go and it's done. Let's grab my playhead, move it back and see if it matches. And that matches pretty good. Now you can do this to the adjacent clip's in point if you want to. Same thing, and notice now it's changing its in point. If I drag it to the left instead and expand it, and I let go, it just extended it, and it shoved everything else down on my timeline to compensate for, for adding those frames. But I'm going to undo that because I had it pretty well matched, and that is what your ripple tool does. Let's move on to the roll tool. The shortcut for that is N. I can expand this menu and click on it if I wish, but I'm just going to hit the letter N as in Nancy, and it brings up my roll tool. So the roll tool is a little bit different. What that does, instead of affecting one clip's in, in point or out point, this affects two clips at the same time. I've got this matched here. Now the roll tool helps you to change where you decide the edit to actually happen. And as I play through this, let's say I don't want to cut to the wide shot until he's like sitting back a little bit longer, or I want to cut to the wide shot earlier, let's say. What I could do, here's the long form version of it. I'm going to hit V for my selection tool. I'm going to ex shrink this clip's out point and go and grab this one and compensate by expanding this clip's in point. Now that should be matched up as I play through it. And we're on the wide shot for longer, but I had to do that in a couple steps there. So the rule tool helps you, the roll tool helps you do it in one step. So I hit the letter N, I move this over my edit here, and I click on this and I drag it to the left or the right. And then if you look up to my two windows there, you'll notice both the frames are changing because it's changing the clips the left clip's out point and changing the right clip's in point. So now I can say I want the edit to happen right there. So I let go and I play through and there you go. And now the, ch now the edit happens a little bit earlier. 
So the ripple tool has helped getting two clips to match, and then the roll tool helps you change where the edit occurs once you've had that matched up. Now, if you're on your arrow tool here, and you use, the arrow tool is the most commonly used tool, so hit V, v as in Victor to go to it. Uh, there's a little bit of a shortcut here to, to make your mouse temporarily turn into a roll tool. Now notice right here I've got the trim point, I've got the trim end point uh, for my selection clip. If I hold down my control key and move my mouse over this, what it gives you access to is your ripple tool to the right, your ripple tool to the left, and your roll tool in the middle. So if I don't want to select, so I don't even ever have to select these tools if I don't want to. I can just hold down control and there's my roll tool, there's my ripple tool, there's my ripple tool. So if I hold down, right now I'm still holding down control, I'm going to left click on this and drag it to the right and I just performed a roll tool. Or you can do the same thing with your ripple tool as well. So just a good little shortcut there. Let's go through the rate stretch tool. Hit the letter R and the rate stretch tool comes up. What this does, you'll notice it's got the red line through it showing that it is not able to perform any functions right now. You have to go to the clip, to the end of the clip and if you want to clip sped up or or slowed down, this is what your rate tool does. If I grab this by the out point and I drag it to the left and let go, it kept the same out point and in point, but it made it play faster. Now it is at 161.9%. So this thing is gonna play back quicker now. And it's playing back in fast motion. Let me undo that, Control Z. Now if I try to drag this to the right, it's not gonna let me drag it to the right anymore because it's gonna bump into this clip next to it. So what I can do is hit A for all tracks forward, select this, drag it out a little ways like that. So I just moved everything down further. I hit R for my rate stretch tool, grab this and drag it to the right. It just changed the percentage to 69.39% because I moved my out point to right here. So now it's gonna play back in slow motion. I will have another episode on, on changing the speed of the clips and change and uh, playing with speed ramping. Those are the basics of the rate stretch tool, which helps you do slow motion and fast motion on your clips. But if you want to do an, if you want to have a control over the percentage, you can hit V for your regular selection tool, right click on a clip and go to speed and duration, type in 60% and I can tell it to ripple edit uh, the space, hit enter and it just changed my clip to 60% and shoved everything else down during the ripple edit. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, I will be covering the razor tool. If you want to watch more of these tutorials, you can go to youtube.com slash chin fat, and that will take you to my channel. From here, you can click on playlists. And under playlists, you'll see all of my playlists, including the new one, Premiere Pro CC 2018. If you click on that one, you'll see a list of all my episodes posted to the right, and you can watch them from the beginning if you wish.